So good evening. Hey teacher, good evening. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you. This is our second class, and uh, I hope everything is fine uh, with you in your job and everything. And also, I hope everybody has the access to the platform. So we're going to check about actually that one. And uh, this is the class of today, number two. And uh, this is the... The question, remember that every class we have a question so you can participate there, okay? Okay, so we are going to check the attendance, which is the next step. Let me just go there, okay. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. 
Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Omaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Jessica Janari Cortez Díaz. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Very Present. good. Perfect. So we are going to start then about the class. So I have a question for you. Today we're going to start actually the, the topic for the unit. So uh, what is a business meeting? What is that? A business meeting. Teacher? Yes. Business meeting. Business meeting. Okay. This is, I, I know that uh, two forms of the business is meeting. Okay, two forms. Okay. When you have a man, uh, for example, uh, many companies will be together in one place. This is a business meeting. Yeah? Okay. This is, this is the man. Many companies will be in one place. Okay. For example, in a hotel, yeah? In a big place, this is the, the first one. And the second one, uh, when you think about uh, when you have a your personal, you you staff, okay, and will speak with your staff about the company. Very well, perfect. Actually, that is it, and you are very right. There are two ways. I mean, sometimes there are two, three other me. Uh, businesses that they come together because they are going to do some businesses together, right? They are going to agree, they are going to negotiate. And the other one, of course, is the one within your company. So with the people from the same company or the same department so they can agree on something. Very good, perfect. And uh, let's speak about the second one, meetings in a company with staff. Uh, I believe everybody has meetings at your job, right? So. How long are your meetings? How long are the meetings at your company? In our case in the school, uh, the meetings are very short because we are in, we need to, to give classes, but uh, there are special meetings in the in like December when there are no students that uh, sometimes it's all of the morning, all of the afternoon are very long meetings, but, but uh, it's because in the year we have no meetings or no long meetings for that reason, but in, in general are very short, only the, the specific points because we need to go to, to class. Very good, perfect. So yeah, you're right. So depending on the business, right? Meetings sometimes might be long, might be short, and you are so right. Uh, at schools, it's going to be very short during the year. And then at the end of the year, sometimes you get together and then uh, discuss about what happened this year, plan the next year, right? So it's uh, that is definitely something that is very long. Sometimes there are trainings, motivational, things like that. Anybody else's? How long are your meetings? Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening. For example, in my company, the, the meeting during around an hour. Yes. Very good. So, and do you have meetings every day, every Monday, every Friday? 
Sorry, I can hear you. Yeah, uh, do you usually have your meetings on Mondays, on Fridays? How is it? During the week, I have different, I have three different meetings. Uh, on Monday, I have the production meeting. On Tuesday, I have the, the meeting with the manager. And for example, tomorrow, Wednesday, I have the meeting with the, with the customer. Okay, interesting. So that is the thing that sometimes there are different kinds of meaning with different purposes. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Jarvin. Anybody else wants to share? How long are your meetings? Maybe one hour, teacher. Around one hour for you. Yeah. And uh, do you have just one meeting during the week or there are many different meetings? Mm. Uh, like executives meetings when you um, are in with CEO, with the CEO, uh, maybe one hour or more. Uh, but when you are with, uh, with co-workers discussing some topics about how to do something, uh, maybe half an hour or 15 minutes, a quarter, an hour. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, interesting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, meetings are important, right? Very good. And uh, anybody else wants to share? Uh, how long are your meetings at job, at your job? Nobody else's? The rest don't have any meaning, so they're not that long. Okay, and do you, uh, are you in charge of the meetings at your job or is somebody else's in charge of the meeting? Could you repeat, please, teacher? Yeah, are you in charge of your meetings or is there anybody else's in charge of the meetings? Mm. So, Go ahead, sorry. Okay, thank you, David. Uh, it depends because if the thing that, that you are uh, talking about is related to, to your main duty, maybe. In my case, for example, uh, about tech uh, technology or something like this, it's uh, generally needed by, by myself or by someone in my team. But if we are like invited to be in, in other meeting, uh, most of times is led by, by the other people in the other department. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So it seems that in your situation, what happens is that every, if, if any or somebody in a department, they have something to say, then you have like points, specific points and everybody can participate, something like that. Yeah. Okay, very well, perfect, thank you. Uh, David, you were going to say something. Yes, it's very similar. Uh, if we are talking with the parents, uh, sometimes uh, the teacher are in church, we are talking with parents and it's about something like academic or something like uh, the school rules and something like that is the coordination. And, and there are times when the, the principal is in charge of the meeting. Very well, perfect. So that is something interesting because that's something that we know. It depends on what is going to be the topic about, uh, if you're going to discuss with your peers or with customers. So depending on many things, maybe you are in charge or you give the word to other people, interesting. Any other opinion on this? when you are uh, with the CEO uh, in in the case in a in a, in our office uh, the meeting is led by by him but uh, all of uh, the attendants uh, should not could participate because he's for example, reviewing some topics and some uh, ad, no, 
advances like a uh, in English teacher. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. advance advances is fine if you are talking about something that you are going to do in the future. Oh, or how uh, how no. a project is going uh, on. Yeah, it's about uh, you are you have a project, but you have many phases or many steps. So when you are talking about, uh, okay, I'm in the phase one, phase two, or something like this. Uh, so uh, it's like a follow-up in a project, something like that. Okay, okay, thank you. A follow-up in a project. Uh, you, uh, you talk about this topic and for the time that you are uh, talking, uh, it's like you are leading the meeting because you are trying to give your opinion but not only your, what do you think? Okay, it's about uh, all the all the things uh, related to, to the project, but uh, also uh, how can we uh, achieve a goal or how can we uh, change the, the path to, to achieve that goal or something like this? Okay, you take uh, this kind of um, name like an advisor, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, in order to take the CEO, okay, this is the best way to to do this thing. In order to uh, to all the project uh, is uh, completing or is it it could be completed. Um, fast uh -huh. or quickly. Okay, very good. Yeah, that is true. So also it's not that, uh, I mean, everybody can participate and that is something that is uh, what usually happens in a meeting, but also you discuss different topics, right? So in your case, you are right. Sometimes there are some projects that you need to follow up, uh, discuss some situations, discuss uh, what you're gonna do, what is the next step, how is the calendar going, uh, fix some problems or decide what, what is going to be the changes in the process. So definitely that is something very interesting. I, in my opinion, it's going to be very similar for everybody, right? So you're going to discuss about different topics. Everybody might uh, have a participation and depending on their reality in the company at that time, then you are going to discuss this or this other thing. Sometimes even it will be just to congratulate somebody or that you finish a project and everybody did it very good. So there are many things, right? So provide news, good, perfect. So as you can see, we're going to discuss this uh, unit about meetings. So we're gonna watch a video, which is very interesting. And then you are going to provide some feedback or comments about that. One. Okay, let me just check. Okay, here we go. Hi everybody. In this lesson, I'm going to show you lots of not loading properly i'm sorry we're gonna watch it like this small one sometimes that happens because of hi everybody in this lesson i'm going to show you lots of useful phrases and expressions for leading business meetings welcome back to english for professionals i'm derek and i'm here with another short lesson for you busy people before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new lesson. And now let's get started with the lesson. In this lesson, I have 41 examples in total on topics such as talking about the agenda, managing the discussion, delegating tasks and much more. Let's get started with welcoming and thanking the participants. First of all, I'd like to welcome everybody and thank you all for coming to today's meeting. Or, I'd like to start by thanking all of you for agreeing to meet at such short notice. We use the phrase at such short notice if the meeting has been called with very little time to prepare. And then we have a very simple example for informal internal meetings Hello everybody and welcome. Now let's have a look at some different ways to introduce meeting participants. Before we get started, let me introduce 
or I'd like you all to meet or let's go round the table and introduce ourselves. Sometimes people who plan to attend the meeting can't make it and this is also something that the meeting leader or chairperson should mention. Unfortunately George can't join us today, he sends his apologies. Or a little bit more formal, I'd like to apologise on behalf of Mr Neary, he can't be with us today due to, and then you would mention the reason. And now let's look at a couple of examples for dealing with the minutes. Let's go over the minutes of our last meeting which was held on June 16th. And Simon, could you please take the minutes today? So why is the meeting being held and what's on the agenda? Let's take a look. The purpose or aim or objective of today's meeting is the first item on the agenda is, then we'll move on to item two, which is, after that we'll look at, and finally we'll discuss. As the person who leads or chairs the meeting, it's your responsibility to make sure the other participants express their opinions. Let's take a look at how we can do that. Monica, what are your views on this? Mohammed, how do you see it? Natalia, can you give us your feedback? Would anyone else like to comment on this? Does anyone have anything else to add? Sometimes things have to be clarified or explained in more detail. Now, if the other participants don't ask for clarification or explanation, then the chairperson should. What exactly do you mean by... Could you explain that in more detail? Would you mind going over that again, please? I'm not sure everybody follows. Would you mind explaining that again? One of the chairperson's most important jobs is to manage the discussion. I think we can move on to the next point. If nobody has anything else to add, let's move on to the next item. I'm afraid we don't have time to discuss that in today's meeting. Let's add it to next week's agenda. I'm sorry, but I have to stop you there. We need to stick to the agenda. We'll have to come back to that at the end of the meeting. We're running out of time, so let's move on. Normally during a meeting, decisions are made and then there's a list of action points for your team. Let's have a look at some useful phrases for delegating tasks. Wolfgang, can you keep everyone up to date with the latest developments? Rachel, could you please follow up on? Pat, please get in touch with. So we're almost at the end of the meeting. Before we close, let's summarise. Let me briefly summarise what we've discussed today. Before we finish, let me summarise the main points. We've decided to. We've agreed that. We've summarised the main points and now we're ready to end the meeting. Well, I think that covers everything. That brings us to the end of this meeting. Our next meeting will be on. Thanks everyone. And that brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you liked it and that you can try some of those phrases when you're leading or chairing your next meeting. If you liked the lesson, hit the like button and share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. And don't forget to join my email list. Every okay, any comments on this video? Hey. It is important, the, the, the phrases, the vocabulary, the some uh, part of that, uh, like the minutes, the minutes, I think is not the time. The minutes is the, the previous contents or the main topics of the, of the meeting. 
I think so. Very well, actually that is true. I mean, the minutes are a very important part of a meeting and uh, it's like, uh, well, I don't know if you do it like that, but the normal way is like that. We're going to review uh, the mm -hmm. minutes of the last meeting, right? So we're going to review the agreements, uh, the points that we checked the last minute, because sometimes there are follow-ups on those to see if uh, we need to identify or discuss some of those topics. Well, the question is, do you do that one? I mean, this one was very, very nice, very complete. But sometimes, I mean, here in El Salvador, depending on the company, sometimes it's just like, we're going to decide this. What do you think? What do you think? Okay, goodbye. So, you know, sometimes uh, some companies don't even take minutes, right? So that is a very important part of uh, the meeting. And also to send, like, the summary via email, right? So everybody checks on that one and has the agreement by in a written way, so you are going to be able to go back to them at any time. So that is a very important one. Very good. Any other comments on the video? Teacher, I only have a question. Go ahead. The link of the video, it is in the manual or not? No, it's not. That is not there. But if you want it, you can... I can send it. Please share in the WhatsApp group. I'm going to tonight, okay? Very well. Thank you. Good. Okay, any other comments on the video? Of course, just your meetings are in Spanish. Uh, does anybody has meetings in English? No. Yes, so some meetings are in English and some meetings are in Spanish. Very good. Yes. So the vocabulary that we saw in the video is something that you use in the in the English meetings? Uh, really? No. No, because uh, even, even if we don't have an, an agenda sometimes, uh, uh, maybe we have a, a main topic, but, but only that, a main topic, and uh, the meeting going is sometimes without control because something is be, someone speak one thing another, and we don't have a, the the we can the thing we see in the video that uh, sorry I I want to I I can to stop you I, I have to stop you but uh, we need to follow the meeting, but uh, if we don't have an agenda, uh, we are talking over and over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, is a, a, a thing that I think only only happening in our country. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, actually, the, that is right. I mean, depending on your leader or, and depending on the department, the company, the most common is like that one, right? That, okay, we have something to discuss or I have to provide you some pieces of information. This is what we're going to do and goodbye, right? So sometimes there is no time for us questions or what you say, I mean, sometimes uh, whenever somebody says, do you have questions? And the questions are related to other topics. And then you start speaking about some other things. And then the meeting was going to be 15 minutes, but now you are 30 minutes in the meeting. And then you say, okay, we have to go. But you didn't agree on some stuff, right? Or the agreement is like, okay, let's agree on this one. And we don't discuss in deep on that one. So that, you know, that is something that happens and it shouldn't be like that. So that's why today we're gonna to speak about the first part of building a nice meeting, to lead a nice meeting. That is going to be the agenda. Do you believe that to have an agenda for the meetings is important? Yes. Why? why? Uh, because uh, in some companies, uh, the meetings are very fast, for example, or very quickly. For example, 10 minutes. So uh, you have three main points and you have to discuss and exhaust all these points in these 10 minutes in order to not, uh, to not uh, um, to not uh, comment or do something or, which is not related with the meeting, okay? So, if it's a, it, uh, I had I had a boss, and he said, if the meeting is more than fifteen minutes, it's not 
uh, a good meeting. It's a, a meeting which is which we don't have the the very um, um, how to say this mm -hmm. like uh, we are here just by just by staying here, not not trying to clarify or um, or find a solution for something. So um, I think in my opinion, if you have an agenda and you have, uh, for example, 30 minutes, uh, it's enough to discuss all the points with all the attendants in order to do this quick and let the people work for, for uh, the agreements taken in the, in the meeting. Uh, but I think also that uh, the time is related with the, with the number of participants of, uh, for the number of the attendants uh, in, the, in, the, in the meeting. Uh, for example, if you have a, a company that there are 10 departments, why are you uh, calling all the departments at the same time if not all the topics are related with everyone? So you have to call for a meeting just by the people who are related for, not, not for other people, but in some in some other companies the this this thing this thing happens and the meeting is not about 30 minutes uh, and um, it's about or around two hours two hours and a, and a half and at the end of the meeting you lost the focus what you are discussing and you lost um, the time and probably uh, people are not uh, uh, are not working. <laughs> uh -huh. Are they are wasting their time? Mm -hmm. For me, it's important for that kind of, of reasons. <laughs> Perfect. Very good. Yeah, you are very right. I mean, uh, the two main things that happens whenever you don't have an agenda is that one. So you don't have control over the time so you're speaking and you don't know exactly how it's gonna uh, be the ending of that one and sometimes people they go through other topics and that maybe at this point it's not important to discuss and then you lose your time many things happens okay yes. good and uh, any other comments uh, why is this important to have an agenda for a meeting the agenda is the guide you have yes. the guide follow the guide and, and you you get at the purpose of the meeting. If you don't have an agenda, maybe you lost the the, the purpose and the main object of the of the objective of the agenda of the meeting. Sorry. Very good. So that is it. See, if you if you don't have an agenda, you are not going to have control. You are going to lose the purpose, and then uh, at the end, maybe you are going to lose a lot of time. Maybe there are no agreements on that one. So. Definitely, that is very, very important. So that's uh, the things that we're going to read about today, about uh, agendas and how to uh, manage the, uh, let's say, meetings uh, or business meetings. So we're going to start with the six most uh, common types of business meetings. And I'm going to start reading, and then you're going to help me. As companies become more focused on efficiency, productivity, and profitability, it has become essential that businesses look at their numbers to ensure that their time, money, and manpower are being put to good use. One of the biggest opportunities lies in assessing how business meetings are run. So it says we've all been in meetings that were run poorly, included the wrong people and didn't lead to the concrete objectives. By improving how meetings are run, businesses have a major way to immediately improve the way time is managed and how team members collaborate. Following best practices, 
using the right collaboration tools and holding everyone accountable can significantly improve your meeting experience. And this is so true. I mean, sometimes if you don't have an agenda and not, don't have an objective, sometimes you invite people that are not important for the decision that you're going to make, right? Uh, starting with that one is going to be a big problem, right? So if you live outside somebody or a department that uh, is some something that has related with the topic that you will discuss, of course, the results is not going to be good. So the first part, uh, David, could you please help me reading this part? Yes, teacher. What is a business meeting? A business meeting is a gathering of two or more people for the purpose of making decisions or discussing company objectives and operations. Business meetings are generally conducted in person in an office. However, with the rise of video conferencing technologies, participants can join a business meeting from anywhere. Let's take a look at the six common types of business meetings, including number one, status idea update meetings, number two, decision making meetings, number three, problem solving meetings, number four, team building meetings, number five, idea sharing meetings, and number six, innovation meetings. Okay, so these are only the most common, right? So, uh, but here it says something that is very important, right? So, uh, what did you understand on the first part in the first paragraph, uh, David? Uh, that uh, is a, a meeting uh, of the people of the company to for uh, decisions for, for the purpose of the company for uh, control the operation as an objective and. Uh, Generally, most in the past was uh, uh, in person, uh, but now uh, we can do meetings in in video conference. Uh, in the school, we do many of the meeting in video conference. Very good. So that is it. So the meeting has different purposes, and depending on the purpose, then we are going to have different kinds of meetings. And yeah, nowadays because of pandemic, a lot of things have changed right so now this is very common so businesses everything has changed around the world and of course business meetings is something that has been changed so it says uh, six types of business meetings for better efficiency and communication before planning meetings it is necessary to identify what type of meeting it is there is actually a huge difference between a weekly status meeting and an emergency meeting that might require urgent action so number one is going to be for Juan Miguel. Okay, teacher. Number one, status update meetings. Almost every company is familiar with those recurring team meetings that were initially intended to share updates on the latest projects and make sure everyone on the team is on the same page about the process of the project. These, missing, these meetings are meant to rem, remedy Remedy. 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 Mm -hmm. Remedy any communication hiccups that may end with uh, that may end up wasting significant amounts amount of time doing the same thing or facing the same challenges. Challenges. Yeah. Over and yeah. over. While this is these types of meetings might not be the most fun or engaging, businesses use them to address any problems that have to come up as same task and, and make any decisions necessary to move forward effectively. Such meetings can turn into quick sign, sign ups Think. and are less susceptible to dragging on past the given time frame. Good, what did you get from this one? Mm. Those are related to uh, maybe I have to say for people who are in the same team in the same project, no matter if they are uh, in several uh, departments, okay? Uh, and it's the most common, I think, in, in many, in most of companies because uh, the company is moving or uh, is moving forward uh, by the by a, a plan, an annual plan, yeah. Uh, 
and you obviously uh, monthly or once a week or once every two weeks, you have to inform what are you doing or what is your team doing in order to uh, achieve this goal or to complement this kind of situation in the in the annual plan. Okay. Um, I, I have a, I have an I have a question. What is an ECAPS? It's like a, a like a wall when you when you are stuck. Yeah? Well, actually, hiccups is something. Uh, well, this is like a reference of something that is medical. So, for example, when yeah. you when you have hiccups, it's like uh, when you're like that. Uh -huh. So, but related. At this one, the relation is that sometimes, um, if the meeting is not like the communication is the flow of the communication is not good, then everything is going to be stopping and things like that one. So it's like a reference for that one. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Very good. And you are so right. So uh, yeah, definitely. This is the most common meeting is this kind of meetings, right? So it's like follow up, updates, what is going on. Uh, if you are going to fix some problems or if you are going to um, update some information, tasks, make decisions necessary for, for the move forward effectively, things like that one. So that will be the most common. Very good. Number two is going to be for Jarvin. Okay. Decision marketing meeting. Autos manager generally have the final says. This question around important business decision often occur in the large group. A smaller decision may be made in a status on the meeting, but important ones will command their own dedicated meeting times. The process of, of marketing a decision could be spread out over several different meetings so the parties have the chance to gather information. Come up with solution and vote on how the best to move forward. This can result a lot of time tied or type tied up. meaning tied up in the meeting and communication back and forward. Okay, what did you get on this one? What did you understand? Oh, it's a little difficult issue for me, really. Your opinion. And so in your own words, what did you get? Maybe this kind of meeting is when the manager or like my partner says the CEO the CEO is in a close meeting to take a decision about the company. So very good. So this is different from the first one. The first one is like follow up, updates, and things like that. But this is when you or the company needs to take a big decision, and there are different different points, different bullet points that you need to consider right so you bring all the departments for example in a in a factory i mean imagine that uh, people in other countries says i want you to build this amount of things for uh, I, I mean in this amount of time is it possible okay before the bus to say yes it's possible we can make it sometimes they get together right and they decide uh, what do you think they ask for the logistics department, they ask uh, opinion for the production, the shipping. So all the departments are there telling, yeah, we have the capacity or we need to implement this or this other thing. If we do this, we might do it. So they are trying to make a decision so they can answer to uh, their customers. So these kind of meetings are different because of that one. You have to decide uh, on a specific thing, what is going to be the best outcome okay so very good let's go to number three problem solving meetings this is going to be for erwin lagos hello teacher problem hello. hello problem solving meeting similar to discussion of making meetings problem solving meeting have a specific goal in mind there is no standard problem solving meeting since each of very dependent of your team and your organization. Organization, but these types of meeting are crucial in moon base. This meeting might be thus an emergence 
that need to be resolved, resolved quickly. For example, the source of the problem may, may not be identified yet of their code be so several different priorities to manager and find a solution to identify the problem. Either way, this meeting give college then chance to brainstorm, evaluate solution and solve the problem at hand. Perfect, thank you, Arwin. Uh, what did you understand on this kind of meeting? Okay, I will, I will speak about to, to think about this one. If you have a company, okay, all the times you will have a problem, okay? And maybe the customer will call you, maybe the customer uh, will write in the social media marketing, for example, okay? And the communication maybe will have a problem with the staff. It is first, it is, but if you are in, Jap in Japanese, you will uh, uh, think about the Kaizen culture, yeah? The yeah. Kaizen culture, it means that uh, in Spanish, the continuum majorly, mejora continuum, okay? Yeah. But in the company now that you will be to be the best and all the time you will have a problem, okay? You have to listen the staff, you have to listen the customer and try to give a solution in the meeting, when the, when the meeting, the goal is solving solving the problem, more problem solving meeting. Yeah. When the goal is problem solving meeting. But if you are a Christian, for example, in Sabal, we had a Christian, yeah, no Japanese, okay? Japanese is other country. But if you have a Christian, uh, if you think that only world is perfect, yeah? You have a mind and you are not perfect. It's so easy. If you, are, if you think that I am not perfect, I try to be the best. Because I am not best. I try to be the best. Okay. This is the, the information, the general information when you have a problem solving meeting in the company. But all the time depends depend if the manager think about, oh, only war is perfect. Okay, only what is perfect, I will try to, to be the best. I try to be the best, I try. I never, never, you have been the best. But if you think in the company, you are the best, you have a problem with your eyes in the company. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much about that analysis. And then, uh, yes, uh, there are many problems in companies. Sometimes there are small problems sometimes there are big problems and definitely when problems arise we need to meet with the people that are taking decision or managing other departments so we can decide what is going to be the best solution for these problems sometimes it's like a process i mean sometimes the solutions are not going to be like deciding yes or not to do something it's like a process so you can solve a problem and uh, yes the casing is a very good culture i i know that is a very nice thing so since you are going to uh, check on the order on how you are going to manage efficiently everything good Next one says team building meetings. That is going to be for Jose Rivas. Is it possible for you, Jose? Yes. Perfect. Number four, right? Yes, please. Okay, team build, uh, building meetings. Although every meeting is a chance for a team to become a, a little closer by engage, engaging. So uh, let's see. You can see advantage at the beginning in gaining a stronger understanding of their counterpart. Sometimes it's necessary to have a planned team building meeting. This meeting can be corporate events or orient for that for the team department or in the or entire company and can serve to generate some employee loyalty and engagement. They are the perfect opportunity to encourage employees to uh, mingle and create more personal relationships that can aid the progress and growth 
of the organization. Good. What did you get from this one? Okay, let's see. Okay, so like uh, to build a uh, a perfect uh, meeting, so it is like so that that we have like uh, accomplish or like encourage in the team, uh -huh. in sorry engage. So each person, so like a, a little bit closer, right? So in order that they can get the, the information that you will transmit. And also, uh, like the the result they will do at the end. Very good, perfect. So team building meetings is exactly that one. So is uh, when you are going to have like, for example, uh, meetings to enjoy a dinner or uh, meetings to bring the family and get together everybody and, and meet the other departments the other people so there are some companies that they do this kind of activities so everybody uh, they work better together between departments between the uh, every everybody there so uh, this is a very important thing and sometimes i mean it's not business related but yes it's important for the business so everybody get to know uh, the people that are working in the company, what they do, and become friends, right? So you can go and ask for something or to provide information that is going to be relevant. Teacher, I have a question. What is Mingle? Uh, Mingle. It's in the first one or the second one? In the second part, like encourage employees to mingle and create more personal relations. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good question. Mingle, everybody, can you please check? We're going to check in a dictionary and tell um, what is mingle. Anybody can check, please, and then share. Mezclarse. To mix up. Very good. So that is it. Employees yeah. are encouraged to, I mean, if you are from production and somebody is from the warehouse and there is another person from human resources, they mix, they speak together like the Christmas party, you know? The Christmas party is exactly this kind of meetings. So everybody gets together, have fun, enjoy. And sometimes you speak with other people and get to know a little bit better what they do, uh, what is the department about, things that was, so that would be it. Oh, okay. So, but this word so is just like to, to uh, get close, like get in touch with people or like well, get, get it closer. Mingle is whenever you have objects, in this case, people, that they um, they are within the other people. So there is not a, a limitation. There is not like a boundary. Everybody is mixed up. So, but it's speaking about mm -hmm. objects or people. You can use okay. it that way. Okay, got good. it. Thanks. Perfect, very good. Yeah. Number five is going to be idea sharing meetings. And that is going to be for uh, Jessica Janari. Hello, Jessica. Sorry, teacher. I'm in another hall. Okay, so it, it's not possible by now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Okay, Iriana Giselle, then, please. Not possible either. Okay, uh, Dora Elizabeth. I'm here. I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Go ahead, please. Number five, right? Yeah, please. Okay. Idea sharing meetings. Sometimes it's better to have the whole group get together and share new ideas rather than distributing them in a meaty email or chaotic chat thread. Not only do these meetings allow the speaker or presenter to go more in depth on a topic, conversations can happen in real time and team members can ask questions. These meetings also make idea sharing interactive, giving colleagues the chance to bounce ideas, ideas off of one another, ultimately resulting in more teamwork. 
a stronger relationship building and an engaging meeting experience. While this type of meeting can take up a great deal of time, it often results in new product ideas, expansion to new markets and ways to get ahead of the competition. Very good, what did you get from this one? That maybe this could be one of the um, um, dynamic, maybe, kind of meeting. It, and the results could be more successful, I think, because you are sharing, well, you, we know that every, every person is a, a whole different world and things very different sometimes. So uh, for me, I think that is very helpful when you, when you have this kind of meetings because you can know what your team thinks about maybe, uh, maybe of some, um, uh, how could I say this? Um, maybe in the meeting, the team uh, discuss about the same topic, but you can know different um, point of view. That's, that's the, the, the word. And maybe the result could be um, better uh, when you have a different point of view. Perfect, very good. Thank you. And uh, well, this is one of my favorites, to be honest with you. So sometimes happens, and maybe you have identified that one, that uh, I mean, the boss there in the office on the 10th floor, sometimes they don't know exactly how everything is going on there in front with the customer, right? And then uh, whenever you have this kind of meetings and you listen to all the employees and sometimes the employees that are there in front speaking with customers and uh, identifying different things, uh, they are the ones who will be able to provide very, very good ideas. So sometimes at least twice uh, a year, we should be doing this kind of thing. So uh, get everybody and listen to them, check what feedback do you have and what new ideas. And sometimes it's going to be the door for a very successful thing, or at least uh, the way for you to identify problems that you didn't know that you had and how to solve it. And then everybody's going to be happy because you are going to listen to your employees. So that is going to be very, very good. Good. Next one says innovation meetings. Uh, Dora Elizabeth, could you please help me with this one? Okay. Six, innovation meeting. Every organization needs a new idea from time to time. An innovation meeting are the star, standard answers to that need. It's difficult to force creatively, but you can solicit as many ideas as a possible and the filter through them to find the most suitable ones. Innovation meeting can sound obscure to attendants, but they are essential to making sure your company continues to move forward rather than retaining the same operation protocols years after year because they are providing the organization a chance to try something new. Perfect, very good, thank you. And what do you understand on these kind of meetings, according to the reading? And I understand in, in the meetings, uh, there are a, a innovation with a new ideas or chance the, the forms of the new forms of for conduct a, a, a meeting. Okay, very good. So that is it. Sometimes uh, we need to, I guess this is something that we can do once a year. So mm -hmm. to tell everybody, hey, we're going to have a meeting for innovation. If you have new ideas for product services, processes that we can innovate anything, uh, you can bring your ideas and we're going to listen to you. Maybe we're going to have a winner and you are going to have a free lunch or something like that. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, that is something very good and it's going to motivate everybody to do their best and identify new ways of making business. So it's a very good thing. Good. Okay. And it says, while it might feel unnecessary or obvious defining 
the type of meeting we, you are having can guide the ways your colleagues prepare for your meeting, help you establish a clear agenda and save everyone time. Here are a few tips on how to illuminate exactly what to do to turn your meetings into solid time investment. Okay, so this is for time, the one that we're gonna read out all right. But by now we're gonna stop because we need to check the attendance, okay? Okay, here we go. Um, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Okay. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. Jessica Janari Cortez Diaz. Here. Yeah. Good. Suleyma Yvonne Moreno de Hernandez. Present. Good. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present. Present. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so let's continue with this one and then we have the other part of the reading, okay? So let me just check here. Okay, here we go. So uh, there are three tips for making the best use of your meeting time. As we remember, this is very important, right? So because, I mean, if you are two hours in a meeting, that's too much, right? And maybe five minutes is not good enough. So we need to identify the best way for us to manage time in meetings. With most managers agreeing that meeting tend to be an unproductive use of time and 65% of them saying that meetings prevent them from completing their own work. There needs to be a better way to meet more effectively. Here are three easy ways to get the most out of every meeting. Actually, this is true. You know, sometimes I believe that everybody has that feeling that you are going to go to a meeting, but you need to do your job. And then it's like, oh my God, I, I, this meeting is not going to be, I mean, I don't have to be in that meeting and I have to go because my boss told me. So instead of that one, I might go and do something else. So to avoid this one, we're gonna check these uh, three tips. And we're gonna start uh, with, let me just check, Suleyma Yvonne. Not possible, okay. Uh, let's see, William Alexander Ramirez. Okay, uh, number one, set clear goals. Having a clear meeting agenda will help you minimize the amount of time that time the meeting takes. If you have tasks the, that attend, attendees need to, to do beforehand, send out, send out a checklist in your meeting invite to make sure everyone attending is aware and prepared. The basic goal here is to do everything in your power ahead of time to prevent an entire team's time from being wasted. The ideal 
meeting has no surprises and follows the agenda to uh, to AT. This could be a challenge since side conversations and tangents are pretty common in the conference rooms. So it's important to keep those off topic. Conversation, um, can you scroll? Of course. Uh, conversation, uh, sure you can always book another time to discuss further. further. Good. What did you get from that one? Uh, the most important is uh, to have an, a clear agenda uh, because uh, you don't have the you don't have to to waste to waste time, and it is going to be a a productive meeting. Okay, very good. So yeah, the very and the most basic step for you to have a nice meeting and that you achieve all the goals that you have on the meetings is the agenda, right? So that is going to be very, very basic. And also, this is a very good idea. This is something that sometimes doesn't happen in companies in El Salvador. So when you have a meeting, when you invite a meeting, when you send the invitation uh, to send the, the agenda, I mean, to send the agenda and check and discuss uh, what will be the topics that we will be discussing on the, on the meeting. And also, uh, so the other people in other departments are ready. I mean, for example, if you are going to discuss about the production for the next quarter, the production can come and, and get the, uh, the budget. So they will be able to discuss that and provide the numbers, right? So that is very, it's going to be very important. So whenever you send a, um, an agenda you need to include that so everybody is ready for the meeting and then uh, they can discuss the most important topic good number two run through a post meeting recap andres giovanni run through a post meeting recap if you have a clear desired outcome it is instantly clear when a meeting is a success Afterward, managers can assess whether it achieved the desired outcome and figure out what would have made, made it more successful. Sending out a quick recap of the meeting will boost the retention of information as well as a clear up any miscommunication that might have occurred. You can also include any further action that your colleagues might need to take the reiterate the outcome of your meeting. Learn how to take effective meeting minutes to ensure you don't, you don't miss any important detail or take away from your meetings. Good, what did you understand on this one? That is very necessary to uh, to make uh, like a resume of the meeting to get all the points clear. Okay, very good. Actually, that is it. So uh, this is also something that some companies don't do. I mean, I believe this is one of the most important things to send a summary of everything that has been discussed and agreed and who is going to do one or the other activity. Remember that sometimes there are people that are not going to be there in the meeting because of many reasons. And uh, if they have to participate in the decisions or on the processes that are uh, that were agreed on this one, uh, they need to know. They need to know everything that was discussed there. So. At the end of every meeting, the person that takes the minutes, because sometimes it's not you, it's another person that you assign for them to take the minutes, they have to send to everybody that is involved in the processes, the minutes, the summary of everything. So that is something that almost never happened, but it's something that is going to help everybody to understand the procedures, the decisions, many, many things. So it's something very important. Good, number three is going to be four. Let me just check. Jose Wilfredo Ayala, is it possible for you? Mm 
Not possible. Okay. Fernando Ernesto Cosme. Okay. Uh, yes, dependable video conference and software. Productive business meetings don't always have to be held in person with the right video conferencing solution. You can still meet face-to-face uh, -face and have a quality meeting experience without leaving your office space. If your video conferencing tool is intuitive enough, you'll be able to share your screen, record your call, and schedule meeting to guest caller across different devices simply. Simplicity. Completely dedicated to delivering the best video conferencing experience possible. Life size is the 4K quality and easy to use video conferencing solution. You and your IT admin have been looking for. After more than 15 years of developing conference room systems, wireless meeting room presentation devices, Mobile app and global cloud network that ties, ties all together. Life size delivers an much unified meetings experience that you can you can trust. Very good, perfect. What did you get from this one? What did you understand? Well, uh, uh, nowadays we have a lot of, of tools of, to video conference, like maybe you can mention. Sky, Google Meet, uh, Zoom, uh, you can record all the, the meeting that you want. You can, after after recording, you, you can check and uh, maybe important points of the meeting. You can build a, a resume of the meeting. You, you have all the resources because uh, the internet, uh, we have a lot of, of the speed. Uh, in, in, in nowadays, uh, maybe uh, ten years ago, you that 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 is impossible because it, maybe the, the connection, the quality of the cameras, all uh, are changing every day. The technology are changing, and uh, that is uh, an important thing in uh, uh, nowadays. That's it. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. And actually, that is true. I mean, nowadays. You know, because of pandemic, that started a lot. But now we know that it's very easy for you to meet with people. I mean, sometimes you need to meet with people in different branches or even different countries. And it's not difficult to to make any decisions together. So since you are going to have the tools, you will be able to record. You will be able to check the attendance. Uh, you will be able to do many, many things. So it is going to be a very good thing. So solutions exist. So that is something that we can discuss. We're going to watch another video and then discuss about that one. This is not that big. So here we go, my friends. To Winspire. Today in this video, hello everyone, welcome to Winspire. Today in this video, we will talk about how to make a good and effective meeting template. Many of us have been to a meeting where we have randomly taken notes just to find out later that we have missed some of the most important information. A good template can be extremely helpful so we do not miss any such relevant information from the meeting. What we will do today is, at first, we will talk about what are the most important things that are needed in a meeting template. And then, we will make a simple meeting template using Microsoft Word, which we will share with you guys as well. We will put a link below in the description section so that you can access it. Now let's get started. The most important things that are to be covered in a meeting template include details of the meeting, which include the meeting title, date and time of the meeting, location of the meeting, objective of the meeting, name of the chair or facilitator, name of the note taker and attendees. Second, meeting agenda that includes a list of activities that attendees are hoping to accomplish in the meeting. Third is the action items that include who, what and when. Who means the owner of the action, what means the action and when means the deadline of that action. And fourth is the meeting notes. Now guys, let's start to make a meeting template using Microsoft Word. 
you will need to have a basic understanding of how Microsoft Word works to make and use this template. Now let's open the blank document in Microsoft Word. Let's add the title of the meeting on the top right corner which is weekly board meeting in this example. Now let's insert table with six rows and two columns. Let's make first row slightly bigger. Now let's add logo here in the first box. Now let's add date, time and location in the second box. Now you can add objective of the meeting here. Name of the meeting chair or facilitator here. Name of the note keeper here. Name of the attendees here. And name of the people who did not attend here in this section. So this table is all about details of the meeting. Now let's go to the meeting as a teacher. Ended. Sorry, now can you span the video? Five rows and two columns. We'll give it a shot. Let's merge the first row and write the agenda. Are you able to see it? Yeah, it seems there is like an error right now. Sometimes it happens to me, so that's why I had it in a small. Let's see if we can. Hello everyone, welcome to Winspire. Today in this video, we will talk about how to make here and name of the people who did not attend here. Are you able to see it there? It seems like there is a problem. Yeah, that's why I didn't. Yes, do that. let's go back to the to chair form. Yes, there is no problem. Okay, let me just refresh here. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Winspire. Today, in this row, let's write the agenda item here. In agenda. Now, let's add another table with five rows and two columns. Let's merge the first row and write the agenda here. In the second row, let's write the agenda item here and amount of time here. If you do not allocate amount of time, then keeping track of time will be exceedingly difficult. You can allocate time based on priority of the agenda. You can give as many rows as possible here depending upon the number of agenda items. For example, three agenda items here. First has 10 minutes. Second has 15 minutes. And third has 10 minutes again. So this table is all about agenda items that are going to be discussed in the meeting. Now let's make a table for action items. Let's add another table with five rows and three columns. Now we'll merge the first row and write the word actions. In the second row, write the words what here, who here, and when here. Again, what means what is the action, who means the person responsible, and when means the deadline for that action. For example, action could be preparing monthly budget report, who to prepare it could be Mike, and when to present the report could be 10th January 2022. So this table is all about action items. Now let's move on to meeting notes. Let's add two rows. Write the word note in the first row. In the second row, you can write as many notes as you want. And at the end of the template, add one section to mention when the next meeting will be.
So we're done with making a simple meeting template. This is how a meeting template looks like guys. You can download this template following the link in the description section. I hope this video was useful to you guys. Please let us know in the comment section how you felt about this video. Also, do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. See you in our next video. Until then, watch We Inspire and keep inspiring. Okay, do you have any comments on this one? This is another level. You give uh, uh, to the people the, 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 the tool that they can get notes and get informed about the, the meeting. But uh, I seen is a, uh, it's not a, not here in El Salvador. We don't have that that kind of, of scenes. But uh, I, I think it's very useful for for the people that attend uh, to the meeting. Yeah, actually, you are very right. So um, you are right. In El Salvador, we don't do that. One. I mean, it's like. We're gonna have a meeting. Uh, we have to decide on this one. People start speaking sometimes about many things. And then at the end, we are in, in a meeting for one hour and sometimes we don't get to know what is going to happen. So the agenda is a very, very basic part of the meeting. And a template definitely is going to help us. I'm going to send you the video so you can see that one and download the template if you want. And of course, you can use that in Spanish or in English. Uh, but I mean, an agenda is going to give you a very nice organization. And templates are going to be something that is like standard, right? If you start doing that in the company, maybe the other people are going to start also doing that one. And everybody is going to agree uh, on the way that you need to, to lead uh, a meeting. And then everybody is going to be more productive. Any other comments or opinions about the video? Okay, so let's check uh, some other things here. Uh, it says a business meeting provides an opportunity for participants to have a thoughtful discussion about a company's challenges or opportunities. It's helpful to understand the types and functions of a business meeting so you can run one successfully. Knowing how to conduct an effective meeting can help you offer participants valuable information or insights to improve their productivity or boost their morale. In this article, we explain what a business meeting is, describe common types of meeting, and provide steps to help to run meetings. So these are, some are different, some are the same. So we're gonna check on that one. So. And uh, I guess this is the one that we were checking, right? No, it's the one. Team building informational. Yeah, it's kind of status update, decision making, problem solving, uh, the purpose. Yeah, it was the same. Invite participants. Yeah, this is the part that is kind of different. So how to conduct a business meeting. If you're responsible for hosting a business meeting, you can follow the steps to prepare effectively, okay? So let's continue reading. We're gonna listen now to, let me just check. Jose Wilfredo Ayala, is it possible for you? Not possible. Let's see. Can I teacher? Of course, please. Okay, identify the purpose. Uh, before you begin to plan, determine the purpose of the meeting. Identify the type of meeting you want to have and the main points you want to discuss. Consider the participants you want to invite and the goal you had for the group discussion. Defining the goals and purpose of the meeting can help you ensure a productive experience for everyone involved. Perfect. What did you understand on this one? Uh, yeah, it's it's part of the planification before uh, you make you make a meeting or you do a meeting. Did you make a meeting? You make a meeting, but like you say, that like you say before, in this country we used to make a meeting without planification. Only we only send the 
we only send the, the invite. Um, we we meeting with other people and start talking about the about the topic, but the most of the time with all with all uh, an agenda to follow. Only talk, but uh, but um, we have a uh, clear the, the purpose of the meeting, but we don't have uh, we don't have a guide to follow. Only talk, only only. Uh, on the result the, 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 the doubts and that's it. <laughs> no, we don't we don't have the habit to to make a a guide. And and sometimes and uh, the, the only thing that we do is send a um, resume of the meeting after the meeting. That is that is the, the only the only thing that we we make. Very good, perfect. So that is so true. Yeah, in the most of the companies, it's like we have a meeting. You go, you discuss. Sometimes you lose control of the meeting. You speak about many other things that are not related with the meeting, and then at the end there is nothing else. I mean, yeah, you understood some things, but sometimes you don't have even the chance to ask questions. So remember that uh, whenever I ask you, why are you studying English? Some of you just say to apply to another position. So you can bring all these ideas whenever you are the new leaders on a new department or a new company. So you can change things. You can start doing things in a better way, right? So, and this is going to be something that we can implement. Whenever you are in charge of a meeting, just remember these steps and then you will be fine. But let's continue reading. Oh, one thing more. Of, of course. And, and sometimes without a plan, uh, the meeting has a lot of idle time. And that that is not productive. And by I told my from my experience, I have a lot of meeting that the most of the time is it's only, I don't know, stay there with people and a lot of the time. That is it. I mean, uh, remember that we were discussing before that sometimes people, they don't want, they don't like to go to meetings, but it's because of that one. They feel that they are losing sometimes that they, they can use it to work, to actually do some things that they need to do. And they are, everybody sometimes, they are there in the meetings, like thinking, oh, I need to solve that problem in my office. And I'm here sitting down doing anything at all. So definitely meetings are important, but it's important to manage meetings in a proper way. So time is uh, used wisely and also that the uh, results of the meeting are going to be good. Perfect. Thank you. Teacher, no. uh, I, I think it is in, important for uh, the meeting, the purpose of the meeting, and uh, uh, this part of related meeting objectives definition and how to write one, how to write one objective because it's not enough to, to say uh, we have a meeting for, for anything, but if we not clarify the fine, we can, we can measure the, the results. We can uh, uh, know is uh, we, we finally get the purpose of, of the meeting. And I, I seen it is, it is important to know how to write the purpose or the objectives or the meeting. It's, it is important that there are specific verbs, there are specific uh, 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 topics, how to write. I think uh, it will be maybe for <laughs> another time, but it, I think we need to know how to write the objectives, not only the meeting, but in, in general. That is so true, yeah. And uh, to write an objective, remember that you need to use like a verb and infinitive and then like the purpose. Uh, so it's, it's, there are some certain specific things that you need to include in the objective of anything at all. And then uh, check if actually the objective was achieved. So you are very right. Maybe in the future, we're going to check onto that one. I remember something. Go ahead. Uh, someone once I told me that 
uh, before you schedule a meeting, uh, you can ask yourself, uh, could be this meeting an email? If the answer is yes, it's not necessary. Very true. Sometimes, I mean, um, maybe not an email, but a form, right? So if you just want to know an insight of a decision or the process, or if you are able to or not able to do something, you just send that one. So definitely, you can save a lot of time by sending emails and then get the information that you need. And that's it, right? Sometimes you don't need to spend 30 or one hour uh, there in the meeting whenever this is possible. And you are very right as well. Perfect, thank you. Interesting everything in the class. Francisco, could you please help us with number two? Right, teacher. Okay. Invite participant. Once you know the purpose of the meeting, choose the participant you want to invite. Consider the schedule to help you set a date, time, and location that work for most participants. Make sure to look at the schedule for other company meetings so you don't un unintentionally schedule a conflict meeting. You can use email function to invite participants to your meeting and have them approve or decline your offer. If you don't receive a response from a recipient, follow up, follow up by phone or in person. Perfect. What did you get from this one? Um, it is very uh, important to uh, choose well uh, the participant because I team uh, in the way that the participant, um, um, how do you say a uh, aportar teacher? Uh, to provide. Give, to provide, uh, give uh, uh, good ideas for the, for the result that the, the problem or the situation, but the meeting, was created in uh, the 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 meeting uh, is possible that in 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 social social folly. Uh, for example, uh, if you uh, work in the operation uh, area. If the problem is uh, a, is a, a specific for operation, I think is a, the idea is invite uh, a, a employees that work in this specific area because a, you invite a other area, for example, a, a, um, uh, how do you say, ah, for example, uh, for example, uh, films, uh, it's probably that uh, you don't have a, a good uh, idea that resolves your problem or you resolve the, the situation. Uh, is, is my opinion, teacher. Okay, very well, perfect, thank you. So yes, um, whenever you have identified the purpose, the objectives of the um, of the meeting, you need to think about who is going to be invited to the meetings. I mean, it's going to be people that are relevant, that they are going to be part of the processes or decisions that are going to take place in the meeting. And uh, also consider the schedules. I mean, nowadays, if you have Gmail, for example, you will be able to share or to check their calendars to see if they have something available uh, that is going to work for you. And you will be able also to, to send, uh, then in the calendar, there is an option that you will be able to provide everybody a way for them to, to change the time or the location of the meeting if they, uh, if for them it's not a good idea. I mean, it's, uh, it's a way for you to be sure that everybody's going to have the time 
and they will be able to come, not just to say yes to the invite, but also to come to the meeting and decide on that. Perfect. Number three, prepare materials. That is going to be for, let me see, uh, Marcus. Okay. Uh, before the meeting, it's helpful to prepare material to guide the discussion. You may create a slice slideshow with information or prepare an outline of your of your remarks. It can be helpful to rehearse your presentation out of low so you feel confident when speaking in front of others. In addition to a presentation, it's helpful to prepare an agenda to determine to determine the direction of the meeting. Take note Take note of the main point you want to address and send your agenda to the participants a few days before your meeting. Sending participants agenda allows them to prepare for the discussion or brainstorm ideas. Okay, what did you get here? Okay, um, I understand that it's very useful and helpful to um have uh materials before we hold a uh, uh, presentation before we make a presentation and in order to have clear all the point the main points and how it will be the discussion how we address the discussion the the topics in our meeting and so it's important to send like the agenda or the topic that we have to uh, take in consideration in our meeting days before we start in in a professional environment. Um, days before we start the the presentation, uh, so the participants um, feel more prepared. They maybe feel more prepared to to share their opinions or in a brainstorm ideas, they can they can be more um, more um, useful to to the to the discussion. So um yeah it's important and also uh, in a personal to our personal benefit is important to prepare the presentation day before so we feel confident when we speak in front of the other people. So it's not uh, a good practice to start preparing the, the same day that we have the, the presentation, all the topics that we have to to, to present to the, to the people. So it's important to prepare days before the material. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you, Marcus. Actually, that is important as well. I mean, if you need graphics, if you need spreadsheets, if you need a presentation, uh, if you need numbers, statistics on what you are going to present or what you are going to request to other people to present, because sometimes, as we discussed before, when you send the invitation, you can ask other people to bring some information so and you share the agenda so they know what is going to happen in the meeting and they bring all the information all the papers all the materials that they really need and uh, yes uh, depending on how important it's going to be this one sometimes it's a very good idea to rehearse right to do a rehearsal on how it's going to be this one and also prepare the discussion or the brainstorm okay brainstorm is something very important that happens in a lot of meetings so a lot of people they start launching their send information that is important and uh, yeah you need to to get that because that's the meaning of the of the meaning teacher the uh, rehearse is something like uh, you practice the the speech before the the time do you give it that is it actually rehearsal is that one so you are going to practice maybe in the, in the mirror uh, depending on the importance in that one which points are you going to to offer or what words actually you are going to use so you 
impact the audience. So sometimes that happens. If, for example, you are motivating people, you need to know which words and in the intonation, things that, that are going to be important. So um, not always is like that, but it, depending on what you want to achieve on the meeting, it might be a very good idea. Okay, okay you. or, you're welcome. Organize the space, uh, William Alexander. Not possible, okay. Uh, let me check who else has some red. Um, almost everybody. Uh, David, Samuel Galdamez, could you please help me reading this? Okay. Organize a space. On the day of the meeting, organize a space where you plan to have the meeting. Make sure there is enough seating available for all participants. If you plan to use technology for the meeting, such as a projector or video conferencing tools, make sure it's set up and functioning correctly. Depending on the nature of the meeting, you may want to print hard copies of the agenda or the presentation so participants can follow along, along as you speak. Good, what did you get on this one? Okay, this is so important because in the in the modern tool maybe we don't use uh, uh, any more projector but if you use a, a smart tv and the, the 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 connection of the smart tv the smart tv uh, always have uh, many channels and uh, you put the the wire and and didn't function because they did not in the correct channel and you you need to be prepared uh, but to to avoid this this kind of scenes and there is no seat for for anyone or there is no space for writing or taking notes and all of the scenes are important there is a, no something like a water to to drink and to avoid the people is getting up all of the scenes are important to to meet a a, a good meeting with the people. Perfect. That is so important. Thank you, David. So that is it. Sometimes, I mean, we need to be sure that the air conditioning is functioning, that the space is good enough, that everything that you need, like chairs or a desk, uh, yes, as you say, so right now, maybe we don't use projectors that much anymore. But I mean, we have been in meetings that they don't work or the speakers don't work, the audio don't work, and we lose 15, 20 minutes there. And the meeting is just 30 minutes. So at the end, I mean, it's, it's a problem. So if you are going to be the one that is going to help, that you're going to to lead the meeting, definitely something that you need to, that you need to check. Uh, another problem that happens sometimes is that you go to the room and it's busy, right? There are people there in another meeting and it's like, oh my goodness, but I reserved the, the room or or I did it, if you did it in the incorrect way, so uh, yeah, it's a big problem. It's something that might happen, so we need to verify everything is working properly. Good. There are, there are other things, teacher, like uh, if you have a, a, a PowerPoint presentation or something like that, the, the, the colors in the screen are not the colors of the projector. And uh, sometimes uh, the people can read because you use too much color or too much uh, uh, information and that kind of things are important to take in consideration when when you are preparing for the meeting very good that is a very good actually annotation david that whenever we create a presentation we need to be careful on the colors that we're going to use not to use a lot of words right uh, and be sure that you will be able to present and they will be able to read or understand or follow up on the presentation. So that is also very important. That is a basic thing that is not included here, but definitely something that we need to consider whenever we are preparing. Actually, in this module, we're going to prepare a presentation. So we're gonna work on that one later on, don't worry. Okay, the next one says, begging at the meeting. This is going to be for Erwin Lagos.
Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Give me a moment, please. Of course. <laughs> okay. Begin the meeting. When everyone has gathered, begin the meeting by formal introduction. You send the participant as you immediately cocoon bookers. Ask everyone to introduce themselves and they are not already familiar with the one another. For some meetings, it may be helpful to assist and participate to, uh, to take notes for the review and send to the group later. Before starting your presentation, discuss the structure of the group meeting and explain the main points you plan to address. Perfect. What did you understand on this one? Okay, teacher. It's so easy. When you have a company in Salvador, it's so difficult to find that company have a protocol, okay? About how to, to make the meeting. But in this time, when you begin the meeting, many times with the manager will begin his speak, okay? About the items, the problems or the object that about the meeting. But in company, when you have a culture from the United States, like Unilever, yeah, and uh, the in the cyber, they have a protocol for to make a one meeting in all, all uh, time of the, all the time when we have a meeting in the company. Okay, very good, perfect. It's like Go a ahead. protocol, yeah. It's like, but, but the company, like transnational company, have, have, uh, the protocol how to make a meeting. When you went at university, you go at university, you never find that kind that we can find in the class. But in in the administration, it's so important to have a, all the time, have a square, okay? Very good, perfect. So yeah, you are very right. So it has to be like an arrangement, an order, an organization on this one. So, um, everything goes well. And uh, yes, whenever you begin the meeting, as we discussed on the other article, uh, it's a very good idea for, first of all, to check the meetings of the last, the minutes of the last, the last meeting, and then uh, assign somebody to take the notes, right? And then, uh, I mean, if you have an agenda already, and that is the importance of the agenda. It's so, it's so important, an agent, uh, agent, it's so important because um, after that, you will have a feedback the before the layer. You have a, the feedback, the result about that one, one uh, staff will, uh, will do in the future. And after that, you will listen if they did it. Yeah. Very good. So that but, but teacher, but teacher, when you have administration, you have to be all the time, you have a be like a square, okay? Like a square, like a square. In the, in the principal um, for TV administration, all the time the company. In El Salvador, you can find many companies that don't have a protocol how to have a meeting. You, for example, you have a pupuseria, a cafeteria, restaurant, uh, a, leader, a leader company, you can find that kind of how to make a meeting. That's Perfect. Thank you. So that is that is true. So yeah, this is something that is very important to have like the way that you are going to sign or to run the meeting. And definitely the agenda is very, very important. So you are going to organize and not only the meeting itself, but something that happened before, like send the invitation, invite the proper people and get them to know if they have to bring some information, some materials, and also after that one, right? So we're gonna check on that one uh, right now. So number six, that's going to be for Andres Giovanni Valdivieso. Complete your presentation. Complete your presentation and remain mindful of time restraints. Make sure you're engaging your audience by speaking clearly and using no nonverbal cues such as gestures and facial expressions. 
depending on the type of the meeting you are having, you may encourage participants to offer their insights while you're presenting information or save time at the end of at the end for a more robust discussion. After you finish your presentation, allow participants to ask questions and provide their feedback on the meeting's topic of discussion. Good, what did you understand on this one? In this case, I think that it's very important to hear what the, the participants the participants opinion that is it so depending of course on the type of meeting uh, that you are having uh, yeah it's important to for first of all complete the presentation provide the information or um, to manage the whole meeting because remember that sometimes other people are going to be also involved sometimes you lead the whole thing but um, I mean, the other people are the ones who are going to provide information or follow up on a project and then decide what we're going to do. So, um, but of course, you need to to follow on that one, finish the whole agenda or presentation, and then allow participants to ask questions and then provide feedback, not only about the topics discussed, but also about the meeting itself, if it's possible. Good. Number seven, and with a call to action. Jose Rivas, is it possible for you? Yes. Okay. Okay. And, and with a call to action, after a group decision, conclude the meeting by summarizing the next steps, provide a clear call to action, so participants understand your expectation. For example, you, you may want participants to collect data or use ideas discussed in the meeting to provide their sales tactics. At the end of the meeting, thanks, thank you, sir. Thank you participants for uh, taking the time out of their work day, work day to participate, this acknowledgement can help them feel respected and appreciated. Good, what did you get on this one? Um, let's see. Oh, okay, so actually, so to summarize, so the, the, the actions that they took on the, in the meeting, so like the plans that, that they have expressed in order to, to adequate in, in the roles, I think that, so that that will be amazing for the participants to, to feel like they are like, uh, treated in the good way or respected. So it is like they, they are feeling uh, so the, the, that the, the, the host, so it's like a treating like respectful. It's an example. Okay, very good. So yes, whenever you uh, have decided what you're going to do, it's very important to to emphasize that the decision, mm -hmm. that everything has that has been agreed, uh, has to be uh, actions. I mean, it's not only words. Right? We need to do and follow up and check, and be sure that everything will be working properly. So that is something very important. Yeah, there are there are nothing worse that you have expectations that you don't say to the people what you expect from them. If the people don't know what do you expect. Uh, you 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 will feel frustrated about the, the 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 behavior of the people that you have, and a call to action is a very very important thing in every company. I think. 
Perfect, that is so true. Thank you, David. And that is, uh, I mean, it's important. I mean, meetings are because of that one, because we are going to actually do something about any uh, project, any problem, any decisions that we have made. So good. Then we have number eight, follow up with participants. Um, Dora, Elizabeth. Okay. Follow up with participants. If you design it and not take care for the meeting, ask them to send you the completed minutes. Once you have this information, send it to the other meeting participation so they can review it. You may also send a meeting recap to remind participants is of important information or action items. If your meeting require a follow-up, you can send an email to check on the progress and evaluate the effort on selflessness usefulness. usefulness of the meeting. Perfect. What do you understand on this one? In this, in this step, uh, it's important uh, after the meeting, a follow up uh, 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 or remains the 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 points uh, the, on discussion in the meeting. Uh, send a uh, summary the information at uh, uh, the others uh, 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 the meetings a uh, participation in the meeting. Perfect, so that is it. So of course, uh, whenever the meeting finished, you have to send or somebody that is assigned at the beginning of the meeting, mm -hmm. they need to send uh, the minutes, uh, the agreements, everything that happened in the meeting to everybody that is uh, involved. And also follow up. I mean, it's not just that one, but you need to follow up on certain actions that sometimes are important. You need to follow up and check if everything is going well, how is the process going? Do you need help? I mean, there are many things that you can you can do as a follow up. So you identify that everything is working the way that we thought was going to, and also if they require some kind of assistance. Very good. So there are some other best practices like dress up properly, of course, depending on the meeting, on what you're gonna do what kind of meeting is it and who are going to be involved in the meeting arrive early so of course you don't have to be there that early but on time or five minutes before the meeting is good enough uh, listen actively that is a problem sometimes in some businesses they prefer that everybody don't use the cell phone right because you need to to be there to be there on the meeting listen and participate on the meeting. So that is also very important. Turn off your phone, as I was telling you sometimes, some companies, they uh, expect you to be there actively. Wait for all participants to arrive. Yeah, uh, sometimes depending on the situation, I mean, sometimes you cannot wait a lot of time, but uh, you can give, for example, me here in the English classes, I just give two or three minutes so we can start. So I wait for the most of the uh, students come to the class and I'm almost always there like three, four minutes before. So if you have questions or anything like that. So things like that are important and allow others to voice their opinions. Of course, respectfully, we're going to provide our opinions and listen to everybody's opinions. So at the end, the decisions or the solutions that will arise on the meeting are going to be the best for the companies, right? Because it's not only us, it's the whole thing is an entity. Good, perfect. Do you have any questions uh, so far? No questions. Uh, I think all of the information is very important. And if we can have a, a, a copy of the meeting for uh, because we don't know, <laughs> we don't know uh, where is uh, the time we need to do a, a meeting and we don't know the, the, the information that we need to, to, 
to know, like in this case, it is important, very important. Perfect, definitely. Actually, I'm doing that right now. I'm sending you the, um, the links and also I will be sending you the videos on what we watched today. Uh, maybe the first one was not that, uh, well, both were interesting, but the second one, I guess, it was more interesting than the first one because you can create a template. And actually, you will be able to download the template there on the link. So it's going to be very important. Okay, thank you, teacher. It's a pleasure. Any other thing? Okay, if that is the case, then we're gonna check uh, the attendance. And of course, uh, we are going to be together tomorrow. So, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good, for you is the 101 today, Andres. Okay. okay. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto eh, Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Jessica Genari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Suleyma Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good. And Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Perfect. So my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow and dream in English. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. 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 Night. Hello, Andres. How are you? I'm good. Perfect. Welcome to the class and welcome to the group. It's a pleasure to be with you. So, and the first question I have for you is: uh, Do you have any questions regarding these or any previous modules? At this moment, no. Maybe. I would like to have an advice to improve my listening with some accents from different countries that I think that that is my problem because I have problems with, with some accents. Like I, some people I can't understand what they say. Okay. Well, that is kind of normal when you're learning English. So sometimes, yeah, there are some people that pronounce the words in a different way and they have different intonation and accents, right? So the best that you can do for you to improve that one is to watch a lot of videos uh, from different parts of the country, uh, countries, I mean. And then uh, you will be able to identify the way that they speak. Do you remember that we checked a video where there were uh, different accents? And the ones, as I was telling you, the ones that we were able to identify why they were from England or uh, the United States. But whenever we listen to South Africa or any other country like Malta, we were not able, but that is because we were not used to listen to that kind of people. So what you can do is that one. For example, one a good thing that you can do is uh, to, to watch videos about culture or um, 
vacations, places interesting in English in YouTube uh, from different countries. So if you were able, for example, to listen French people to speak about their country in English or uh, people from Wales or people from Ireland, uh, you will be able to identify the way that they usually speak in some words because sometimes there are some words that are very, very from a uh, territory. For example, I, right? Uh, Irish people, uh, they instead of say yes, they say I, I, or I mean, that is something very normal for them, but not for us. But whenever you listen to those words, sometimes you say, oh, this person is from this country. The most difficult, um, Accents probably for everybody are going to be like the Indian and Chinese. Some of those are maybe like the most difficult. Maybe uh, countries like Vietnam or countries that where their language is totally different. Uh, so they pronounce certain words, certain letters in uh, different ways. And But it's going to be very easy. And the good thing is that in YouTube, uh, you will be able to to check to uh, to turn on the closed caption, so you will be able to see the words, and then you will be able to to check all oh, that word they pronounce in a different way, right? So you will be able to identify that one. And my best suggestion for you is to to do it with the closed captions, and then do it again without the closed captions. So you are going to identify different things there. So that is a very good uh, thing. If you have cable in the cable or uh, if you have a, an app, there are apps that show you uh, television from different countries. Uh, and if they're in English, also that is a very good, a very good way for you to practice that. Okay, I will do that. Perfect. So do you have any other comment, any other question about anything else? I didn't know. I don't know. Perfect. So, yeah, remember that you, if you have questions regarding the platform or any other thing, you can chat with me directly or you, we can chat in the group. So you can send the question and, of course, it will be a pleasure to help you out. And, uh, well, the one-on-ones are for this kind of activities, but... Uh, well, it, it, there is one once for everybody, but at the end, there will be like four days that are going to be for free. So uh, if you want to stay to practice or to do any other questions or to practice in a different way, it will be a pleasure. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thanks for your help. It's a pleasure. So my friend, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Have a wonderful night and uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Good night.